Hey everyone, today we're going to go through my Ioneo 2 Day 1 Guide. Before we get started though, I wanted to welcome everyone that's joining us from the Ioneo community. Welcome to the OKest Gamer channel and our community. So today we're going to cover everything that you need to know to get started with your Ioneo 2. I'm going to take you through the Windows updates, setting up your AMD drivers, we'll update ISBase and configure it, download some game stores and get them set up. And I'm also going to take you through a few different little tips and extra software that will help enhance your experience. After we set up your device, I'll show you where you can find community, support, and some extra resources. Okay, let's dive into it. Our first section is going to be updates. We're going to start with Windows. If something goes wrong, I'd rather it be sooner than later so we can just do a restore. So you're going to want to click on the Windows key and type in Windows Update Settings. And then we're going to click on Install All. This may take quite a bit of time depending on your internet, so we're going to click install and then we're going to come back. Looks like they all downloaded except one that had failed, but we're going to restart now anyway. And once we've reboot, we're going to hit retry all. It should pop up whatever was missing and start to download, so we're going to download these and then install them. So it looks like the Steel Series failed, but that's really not a big deal. I'm just going to skip it. That's just for my headset. I can sort that out later. So we're going to reboot our system again. And now we can move on to updating our AMD drivers. We're going to click on the start bar and we're going to search AMD Adrenaline. So we're going to open the software. When you first open the software, it's going to lie to you and say that it's up to date. But you're going to click on check for updates and it should pop up another one. So I've already done that. So I'm going to go ahead and click download. Once it's finished downloading, we're going to click install. The screen's going to go black and then it's going to pop up a window that's going to scan your device to figure out which device it is. It's going to pop up a new window and we're going to click on additional options and we're going to verify that factory reset is not enabled. So do not have that checked off. So we can go ahead and click install now. During the install, your screen is likely going to flicker. It might flash, go black, or it might even turn portrait. Don't worry about it. This is entirely normal. It'll go back to normal once it's done. So once we're done this, we're going to go ahead and reboot our system. Now our AMD drivers are up to date, but we're going to go back into the app and I'm going to show you some things that you can do in here and I'm going to show you some things that you should never do in here. So the first thing never to do is don't go to the performance tab and go to the tuning sub tab. If you touch the memory optimization or change this, it's very tempting to switch it to gaming. Don't touch it. If you touch this, you will mess up your VRAM. So do not ever touch this. Now that I've shown you where not to go in this app, I'll show you a couple cool things that you can do in here. So if you go settings, and then if you go display, you can actually do some color adjustments. So you can click custom color, and you can adjust the hue, contrast, saturation, and you can also do some color correction if you want. So you can pretty much adjust the display to be whatever your preferences are. Another thing to check out is the graphics tab where you can turn on RSR and adjust some other settings. I'm not going to go in depth into that today, maybe another time I'll go into that, but definitely give it a Google and check it out. RSR can be a powerful feature to have. Our next update is going to be for IS Space. We're going to go into the app and we're going to click where it says updatable and then it's going to check for an update. Once it finds the update, we're going to click to download. Once it finishes downloading, you're going to get a new pop-up and it's going to be in Chinese. So all you're going to need to do here is press the blue button to install the software. It's going to install really quickly, and once it's done, you just need to click the blue button. Now that it's updated, we're going to change our language, so click on the INEO logo in the top left corner, and then go to the A that's in a square and click it, and here's where you can change your languages. So I'm going to set mine back to English, and once you've done that, click the check mark, and the app's going to reboot itself. We'll leave IS Space for now, and later I'll show you how to get the games loaded onto it. Next up, we're going to cover some nice-to-have software. If you're anything like me, you've been conditioned to expect a keyboard to pop up when you tap on a text input field. So Windows doesn't do that by default, but I'll show you how to set that up for your device. We're going to click on the start bar and we're going to type in typing settings and then go to that setting menu. And if you click on touch keyboard, you'll see a checkbox that says show the touch keyboard when there's no keyboard attached. So you just want to click this. And now that you got this selected, you should see your touch keyboard pop up when you tap on a text input field. First up for software is 7-Zip. So 7-Zip is for zipping and unzipping files. Although it's not exciting, it's definitely a must-have software. So to get 7-Zip, we're going to Google 7-Zip and we're going to click on the first link. Now we're just going to click download on the Windows 64-bit version. Once it's downloaded, we're going to run the download and install. And it's as simple as that. Now we've got 7-Zip installed. Next, we're going to download FX Sounds. We're going to Google search FX Sound. We're going to click the first link. And then we're just going to click on download FX sound. 
Once it's downloaded, we're gonna run the download and install. Now that it's installed, you can select your audio output and you can also select your different equalizer effects. You should be getting about a one and a half times volume boost from this program. So check it out if you're finding your volume lacking a little bit. Next, we're gonna grab battery bar. So battery bar is a floating battery so you can always see your battery level. So we're gonna Google battery bar and we're gonna click on go to download. And then we're gonna to scroll to the bottom of the page and we're gonna click on try basic version. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna click on the download to install it. And while installing, make sure to click on battery bar floating toolbar. Once it's installed, it won't show up until we reboot, or we can go and open the .exe in C, program files, battery bar, and then battery bar.exe. Once it's running, you can see a floating battery that's at the top level of your screen. You can move this around. It's handy for gaming to make sure your battery doesn't die mid gaming session. Next, we're gonna get your game stores. We'll start off with Steam. So we're gonna Google Steam Powered. We're gonna click the first link. And then in the top right corner, we're gonna click Install Steam. Once the download's completed, you can click on the EXE file to install Steam. Once it's installed, I'll show you how to configure it where it starts in big picture mode. First, you're gonna to need to sign in or create your account. Now that we're signed in, we can click on Steam that's in the top left corner, then Settings. And then we're gonna click on Interface and there's a box that you can check off that says start Steam in big picture mode. So make sure to check this off if you wanna start in that Steam OS like UI. So I'm gonna enter into big picture mode by clicking on the big picture mode button and I'm gonna download a game for a later example in the video. Let's quickly download Celeste and then we'll move on to the other game stores. Next, we're gonna grab GOG Galaxy. So we're gonna Google search GOG Galaxy and we're gonna click on the first link that says go to download and then we're gonna scroll down and click Download GOG Galaxy 2.0. Once it's downloaded, we're gonna click on the EXE to run and we're gonna install GOG Galaxy. The install should go pretty straightforward, so our next step is gonna to be to sign in. So sign in or create your account. And now that I'm signed in, I'm gonna grab a game so I can use it for an example later on. The last game store that we're gonna get is Epic Games. So we just need to Google search Epic Game Store and then scroll down and click Download the Epic Game Launcher. And we can click the download link on their website and then we're gonna run the file and do an install. This will take a few minutes, and once it's finished installing, you're actually gonna be greeted with another screen that does an update. So once that update's completed, you're just gonna to need to sign in. So if you have an account, sign in now, or you can just create an account. And then I'm gonna download a game just for a later example. One thing I wanted to include was deals.gg. So deals.gg is a website where you can get free games and you can also get games that are at uh, major discounts. So it basically takes all of the sales, brings it into one place, and it's easy to navigate. You can click the link directly to the stores and key shops, and you can get sometimes even the brand new games for 20, 30 bucks cheaper. Next, I'm gonna show you how to add your games to IS Space. We're gonna go to the Games tab, and we're gonna press Start, Add Game, and then we're gonna scan for games. So it should scan your different game libraries and add them here. Now in my case, it's actually missing a game. So I'm gonna close the app and I'm gonna reopen it. And then I'm gonna run the scan again. I found that sometimes it doesn't always find things. So you may have to close the app and try again. So on the second go, it found my GOG Galaxy games. If you're looking for some guides and tutorials, there's a few options. So first is INEO's website. So they have a knowledge base page that has some tutorials for the INEO 2, some other devices. IS Space, as well as some general Windows tutorials and troubleshooting. So you may want to check out this website before you check elsewhere. Another place to check out is the INEO Discord. So they have a guide section that they have helpful software, some tools that people have put together. There's some uh, community guides. There's also a section where you can ask different community members or mods for help. And then of course, you can always create a forum post yourself and get some feedback from other server members. So in the Discord, I came across another guy that seems pretty helpful. It seems to cover a lot of different issues that people have experienced. So check it out. It's got a text and uh, picture step-by-step -step guide on how to do different things like a fresh Windows install, uh, fixing a double controller input, and a few other things that you may encounter. So check it out and save it as a resource. And then of course, there's my YouTube channel. So I'm gonna to continue to make INEO2 content, some tutorials, guides. If you're kind of curious what kind of content to expect in the coming weeks, take a look at some of my 1X Player 2 guides or my AOK -OK Zoe. So stay tuned and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see. I also briefly wanted to show you a couple community connection options. So there's the Discord server. Here you can talk about the different devices like the INEO2 and Geek. You can also go to the guide section. I'm gonna go into that a bit later. You can go to the announcements. You can learn whatever's coming up, learn about new devices, or maybe some things that are relating to your current device. Then there's Reddit. 
So on Reddit, uh, yeah, there's tons of different posts you can look at. Some of them are from the moderators. Some of them are just from the community. But it's a great place to ask questions or find other answers. So I couldn't find an official IONEO Facebook group, but there is this group that has a number of devices together. So it's a good place to connect with others that are playing games on their Windows handhelds. And that's going to do it for this one. If you have any other tutorials you'd like to see covered, leave a comment. Do the OKS thing and boop that like button. And subscribe if you'd like to see more content. Thanks for watching.